Good morning everyone, Tiffany Quinn here and this is your 20 minute intense abs burn. Today's workout is gonna help you get a deep burn throughout your core with a total of 15 different exercises all performed on the mat. No equipment will be needed for today's workout. However, if you did wanna make it more challenging than it already is, you can of course include your ankle weights throughout today's routine. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new workout every week and let's get into it. What's up everybody? Welcome to our 20 minute intense abs burn. Now I do want to get us straight into our workout. We will be working into the upper abs, the lower abs, the obliques, so that waistline area here, and going four layers deep into your transverse abdominis. So this is very much a deep core burn. We've got 50 seconds on with a 10 seconds rest between. Of course, take extra breaks as you need them. However, my goal for you today is to keep your abs engaged and contracted for as long as I possibly can throughout. So we are gonna try to get through those 50 seconds together. So coming into our first position, I want your feet flat against the mat. We're gonna bring our hands right in front as we roll ourselves down and take the hands behind the head for support. Now take a nice breath in for me. We're gonna exhale through the mouth, pulling the belly button in towards the spine as we lift the shoulders up off the mat. And as I start our timer, we're bringing both legs into a tabletop position. Now straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling. We tap the left leg down, bring it in, extend to 45 and in. So this is our activation, meaning this is gonna be a gradual burn for those first few minutes. And then as we get further into the workout, it is going to start to burn like crazy. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm here for that burn, so just follow along with me and we're gonna feel it together. Bring it in, tap down, bring it in, extend. Now I will give you challenges throughout those rest points. My beginners, of course you can take those extra breaks if you're intermediate or advanced. I want you to try to keep pushing through those moments. Extend and in for one, two, three, four, and one, two, on three we hold it low. Now the lower you come, the harder it's gonna be to keep your back against the mat. I only want you down as low as you can keep that back against the mat. All right, come back to neutral. Now extend the left leg long, the right leg taps, comes in, extends, and in. Only bringing that knee in line with the hip, thinking about working those abs, contracting the right muscles, pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Breath out through the mouth, in through the nose. Out through the mouth, in through the nose, amazing. So within these first three minutes, you're gonna start to feel it in the center area of your core. From there, we're gonna wake up the waistline, the obliques, and then the lower abs as well. In, tap, in, extend as low as you can, keeping the back flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, no. Come nice and low for me and hold right here for five, four, hold it. Three, two, one, back to neutral, back to your tabletop position. Now from here, we're gonna reach below the legs, tap those index fingers together, come back behind the head, extend to 45. One, two, three, four. Breath out through the mouth, breath in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Lift the shoulder blades off the mat for me. I want you coming up as high as you can and squeezing those abs as hard as you can. One, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. Trying to take the legs a little bit lower each extension. Again, no arch in that back. Keep it nice and flat. One, two, three. On four, we hold for five, for four. Keep holding three, for two, for one, and come back to neutral. All right, both of your feet come out to either side of the mat. Now form a point with those index fingers. We're gonna lift all the way up, tapping between the legs and slowly lower down. It's lift, tap, two, one, down. One, two, three, and four. Focusing straight ahead, still squeezing those abs. Shoulders are away from the ears. And if you do need a little help here, take the arms overhead, use some of that momentum and come up. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit harder to do if you're not using that momentum. So if you did want this harder, only bring those index fingers in line with your eyes, okay? Down, two, lift and tap. One, two, lift and tap, amazing. Another three. 
and two. Last one, and bring yourself back to neutral. So those feet can come back in line with the hips. The palms are facing away from you towards the ceiling. We're gonna lift all the way up, tap the outsides of our legs this time, and down, let's go. One, two, tap and lower. Breath out through the mouth, breath in through the nose. So by now, I think at this point in the workout, you should be feeling it quite a bit in the center area of your core. So if you feel that, if you hear that my voice is a little bit trembly, that's because I'm right there feeling it with you. Lift, tap, lower and down. One, two, three and four. Another three. And two, got something fun coming your way. And one. Now I want you to keep your hands right in front. Now come down as low as you can without rolling all the way back. Hold right here, now pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. I want you to roll back into your tabletop position. Position. So just like that, hands are facing away from you once again, so the palms towards the wall. We lift, tap aside, and back down. One, two, three, Four. So essentially the same exercise, right? This time making it a little bit harder. Now let's add to it. As we lift, we extend the right leg and come in. Extend the left leg and come in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forming a little triangle with that top leg as you come up. Breath out, breath in. Breath out, breath in. Great job. Doing amazing. What you tell yourself matters, okay? So if you tell yourself right now that you can do this, you're gonna get through those whole 50 seconds, just watch what your body does. One, two, three, four, last one on the left, and down. Last one on the right, and down. Okay, from here, let's bring those legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Now flex those feet, hands are facing up. We're gonna reach, lower, drop on the right. Reach, lower, drop on the left. Incredible. So we are officially a quarter of the way through our workout. I hope you're feeling that burn right now, but I do want you trembling by the end. So we've got to keep going. We haven't even worked through the entire core musculature yet. Lift, lower, drop on the left. Again, only taking that leg as low as you can without lifting the back. You want no gap between your back and the mat right now. Reach, lower, drop, raise. Reach, lower, drop, raise. So now we are gonna go into a little bit of lower abs right after this. And then we're gonna work into that waistline. And reach, lower, drop, lift, last. One, two, three, four. All right, keeping your legs exactly where they are, we're gonna take the thumbs and the index fingers together, lift the hips up and place them below the tailbone. Now if you can, you can also lift the shoulders up as well as we come down, open, Close, raise. One, two, three, four. Now this one is tricky, so squeeze and brace your abs down as hard as you can. I want you squeezing at your tightest, at your maximum. This is our last one in lying, and then we are coming up to a seated position. I can't promise that means it's gonna be easier. Down, open, close, raise. Down, open, close, raise. Now we're gonna come down for a count of eight, seven, six, five, halfway four. Hold, 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 continue. Four, three, two, one, and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hands up and roll yourself up to seated. Okay, legs stay straight. Put a flex in those feet. The hands are in front, the palms are facing in. The left arm comes out as the right knee draws in. One, two, three, back to center. One, two, three, back to center. Squeeze tight. Now lean back a little bit further. Great job. So you're basically giving yourself a high five as you come back and opening up, trying to twist towards the side. You're gonna feel this in that side ab muscle there, working deep into the oblique muscles. One, two, three, Four. Some people will call it snatching the waist. They actually hate that expression. I don't know why, it just doesn't sound right to me. <laughs> Open, out, in, and to center. One, two, three, four. Now come across, 
Take the right arm, meet the left for three, for two, for one, and straighten back out. Ouch, right? Okay, over to the other side. Same motion. So this time, the right arm out, the left leg comes in, and we come back to center. One, two, three, four. Lean it back. Two, three, four. Just concentrate. You can get through this. Remember what I said before, what you tell yourself matters. If you're telling yourself right now that you can't do this, it's gonna make it a hell of a lot harder. So tell yourself you can. Tell yourself you've got this. You've got that knee crunch in, and you are able to extend that arm nice and wide. And it feels kind of good after being on the ground for that long. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Another two, and in. Another one. And in. Now take it out. The left arm meets the right for three. For two. For one. And bring it back to center. Okay, how do we feel? We're coming into our supported B sit. So the hands are going to come right behind you for support. If you have a mat in front of you, it'll make it a little bit easier to guide yourself. We're going to come in towards the center, over to the right, to the center, to the left. So it's crunch, center, crunch, right. Crunch, center, crunch, left. Twisting, feeling that burn. Enjoy this little basic crunch because this is one of the hardest ones we've got, okay? If you came here for a burn, you're about to feel it now. Now, if the hip flexors are bothering you at all, just take those knees out a little bit wider. It's gonna help turn them off and try to stay at my pace. I want high reps for this one. Center, to the side, to the center, to the side. For eight. Seven, six, you're almost there. Five, four more, three more, two more. Last one, finish off in the center and relax it down. Ow, 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 ow. Not quite done yet though. So stay exactly where you are. This time, put a bend in both legs. We lift, tap to the left, lift, tap to the right. Okay, I might have lied to you. I think this might actually be the hardest one, but you're twisting just a little bit off of those palms. One, two, one, two. It's point, tap, point, tap. Keeping the bend in the legs. Keep them exactly where they are. Now, if you feel the quads lighting up a bit, mine are actually a little bit overactivated today. It is kind of normal, especially if you just had a brutal leg day. Lift, tap, lift, tap. Just try to get through it. Appreciate it. You get a little bit of quad work in there as well. One, two, one, two, for five, for four, for three, last two, last one, and lower it down. Into our high side planks we go. So if you do need to, you can come onto the knee here, but since this is more of an advanced ab workout, I would like you to be in either your staggered or your stacked position, the hardest version being on the calf. Let's lift that arm up. We've got two exercises on this side. Two exercises. And then after that, after we've done our side plank, only two more exercises to go. Now in two, in one, down, up, up. Down, up, up. Raising those hips as high as you can. Let's make sure both of those hips are facing forward. Enjoy this last few minutes. This is where the burn really kicks in. It's always, always those last four minutes that matter the most because by then, We've woken up all the tiny little muscles that we want to wake up. Down, lift, lift. For three. For two. On one, you can lower it down. We're going to take that bottom arm here for support and extend the legs nice and long. The top arm reaches overhead. We reach for the toes and lower. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Jackknife. I want you extending all the way out. Keeping the rib cage down. Let's try not to flare it, so I don't want to see this. <laughs> Reach and out. Reach and out. So I actually have, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, and maybe you don't care. I have horrible cramps today. <laughs> so this is actually gonna help. A lot of the times when I do have a bad day like that, on you know what time of month, working out will kind of alleviate a lot of those symptoms. So as much as it hurts right now, I know it's gonna help me through the day. Reach, extend, for three, 
for a two. Squeeze it here. One. And hold. And lower it down. Over to our other side. We've only got those 10 seconds, so let's get into position. On the knee if you need to, otherwise into that staggered or stacked or foot on the calf position. Hand directly below the shoulder, lift that arm up and hold. Just hold right here. We have a 15 second hold and then we go into our dip lifts. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, right? Hold, hold, hold for five, four, you guys ready? Three, two, one. What you tell yourself matters, down, lift, lift. Down, lift, lift. So even this morning when I was telling myself, I really just don't have the energy for it today. I just tell myself, yes we do, I can do this. We've got this. And of course, I love ab workouts, so I picked the right day for this to land on. Down, up, up. Down, up, up. For a four. For a three, stay strong, you've got this. For two, up, up. Last one, up, up, and lower it down into our next position. Then only two more exercises. All right, bottom arm is there to support you. The top arm extends overhead. Legs come long, long, reach and extend. Reach the toes and extend. You're squeezing your side out muscles. I want you really pulling in there. Squeeze and open. One, two, three, four. Focus. Come on, reach higher. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three, and out. 25 seconds. You can do this. Just get through this one. It's the last one for obliques. After that, it's into our lower ab area for a total of three minutes. What is three minutes, right? Push through it. Reach and open for three. For two. Last one, two, three, four. Lower it down and come into our starting, starting position for me, which was our tabletop position. All right, <clears throat> hands come into that diamond shape once again. Place them below the tailbone into a 90 degree angle. Hip lift, down, tap. One, two, three, and tap. Controlling the motion downward. The slower it is, the more you're working your abs. So you don't want to just be willy-nilly all over the place. I want you to control it. And tap. And tap. Now try to lift up a little bit higher for me. Let's add a little more momentum and work the abs even harder. Now if you can, we can make it a little bit more challenging by extending all the way out. Bring it in and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last two. Last one. Bring the knees in and lower down. All right, hands come behind the head from here. We're gonna extend both of those legs to 45. The left leg comes in, forms a triangle at the top. We lift. Roll up, lift, roll up. I'll show you from the front. Roll back, lift, roll it on up, elbows wide. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is the challenge. This is our final ab finisher, our challenge of the workout that for some reason, I felt it was necessary to have you do and torture you with my exercise. <laughs> and lift, 20 seconds. Give me another three. And two, you are using momentum here. And one, now hold it in that roll up position. 10 seconds here and then we switch sides. Try to lean back a little bit further, use that balance for four. Three, two, one, roll it back. You have 10 seconds and then we've got our final, final ab burn here. Switching sides, extend those legs long, right leg in, just tap it with that other knee. Lift, roll. Lift, roll. Now I know that this one is not easy, okay? It will take a few tries. It might not happen today. Do not beat yourself up for it. It takes practice. Over time, after you've told yourself, hey, I've got this, 80 times over, it's just gonna happen. Roll and raise. Roll and raise. Giving it that tiny hip lift at the top to give yourself that momentum upward. The challenging part of this is squeezing the abs in so that you can stabilize at the top. So right now, it may seem like you're just rolling on backwards, that's okay. 
Last one, lift. Now hold in that position. Work into those stabilizers for five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. You have made it through our excessively challenging ab workout. I know that was cruel. Let's just stretch those abs out real quick. Come down onto your mat, straighten the body out, arms overhead, and just allow your spine to come into neutral position from here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that all over. <laughs> Lift up, flip over, and just a quick ab stretch from the front, hands below the armpits. Lift up. Like I said, my body's working today, my mind not so much, so my words feel a little bit jumbled. I apologize for that. <laughs> this is week three of our Lean Out and Lift Guide, everyone. Don't forget to grab your guide from the links below. And before I botch any more sentences, I'm going to bid you adieu. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Okay, so be honest, how do we feel after that one? Let me know in the comments if you think you'll be feeling that tomorrow. I know for me, I was feeling that in the first five minutes. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new workout every week, and turn your notifications on because next week we have a brutal Bulgarian lunge day. Yes, we're doing it, prepare yourself for battle. That'll be up next Wednesday at 9 a.m. EST, so I'll see you there and have a great day.